Don't be serious. I'll give you some sense of me now. Hold it up, ready? What's it like touring with John? First of all, in the studio, I mean, what? what? Oh, I don't see him in the studio. <laughs> no question of being in the studio with John. What happens in the studio is um, me and some very talented people like Adam, who's the drummer from the band, from the big band, and uh, Andy, who's one of our recent recruits on keyboards. We go in there and uh, we record songs and then John comes in and does sort of two or three minutes of singing, singing, and then uh, we present him with the finished product. I mean, uh, he's not in the studio, basically. He's best out of it. Do you prefer to work like that? Would you find him possibly a bit of a strain to be with? If, uh... Oh, no, it's no strain. It's just that John's of absolutely no use whatsoever in the studio. It's no, it's no point in being there. <laughs> <laughs> He's got one job to do, which is to sort of like uh, strain a few vocal cords, and uh, once he's done that, we don't need him anymore, so we shuffle him off. 
luckily the studio we work in has actually got a bar attached to it so there's a downstairs bar uh, and we usually sort of bung him off to that and uh, he spends the rest of the day down there and if there's anything that needs to be done then we say John come back here for two minutes what about touring with you mate? you had a long day today yeah very long day um, do you still enjoy you know days like this thoroughly yeah it's well worth doing and um, what about your sort of done to a weekend to get in quite a tradition now? Pales into insignificance compared to today. <laughs> <laughs> Bollocks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> when you first started working with John, did you think it was A, going to last as long as it has done? <laughs> and B, did you think it was going to be as much fun you know, with probably John's record of going through partners? Um, no, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm quite a long-standing bit now. I mean, I've been. I've, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I've outlived any of the other bits yet. Um, probably coming close. So I didn't think it would last as long because he has got a record of, of burning people out fairly quickly. Uh, but no, as far as much as much fun, I always knew it would be fun. I mean, it's uh, it's fun, you know. So it's going to be fun. <laughs> So it's much more fun than trying to do anything sensible. I think you want to explain what a BIC is. A BIC? A BIC? You want me to explain what a BIC is? A BIC, a BIC is one of John's disposable guitarists, basically. <laughs> so they're all referred to as BICs, there have been a lot of them. Uh, and so I'm a fairly long standing BIC now. I'm almost a, a Gillette, I suppose. It comes from Byron, you know, they're legit Byrons. <laughs> What's the funniest thing? Hey, we don't have to spell it out for a long <laughs> I think they might kid away. What's the, if you can recall perhaps the funniest incident, perhaps on stage? If, I know there's uh, probably been hundreds of them, but does one sort of stand out? Uh, does one stand out? Does one stand out? Um, I've got to say no. I, no. Almost every gig has got some moment which catches me out, I suppose, for... A, um, the longer it catches me out, the worse it gets and the more memorable it gets. I mean, sometimes there are times where I just sort of stand there looking at John Frazier going, you know, what is happening? Uh, but every single gig has got... That's the beauty of it. I mean, that's, that's why I enjoy doing it. I mean, every single gig has got something happening which I know nothing about whatsoever. I mean, tonight's gig, for example, we actually played a song we've never played before <laughs> in our lives. Uh, it happens. And uh, they're all memorable.
that's one you've always been singing, you see. It's quite a jump. <laughs> doesn't miss the opportunity because we all know that she's fancied him for years. Holiday that they plan for. 